Transforming Mars into Earth, or terraforming, is one of the most ambitious concepts in space exploration. Imagine turning the red planet into a habitable environment for humans. But how can we achieve this monumental task? First, we need to understand Mars' current state. Mars has a thin atmosphere composed mostly of carbon dioxide, with surface temperatures averaging around minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Its surface is dry, with no liquid water, and it has lower gravity than Earth. The first step in terraforming Mars is to warm it up. We can use several methods to achieve this. One method is to introduce greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. By releasing potent greenhouse gases like perfluorocarbons, PFCs, we can trap more heat from the Sunday. These gases can be produced by industrial processes or imported from Earth. Another approach is to use giant mirrors. We could place enormous mirrors in orbit around Mars to reflect and concentrate sunlight onto the surface, increasing the temperature. This would help to melt the polar ice caps, releasing trapped carbon dioxide and water vapor into the atmosphere, further enhancing the greenhouse effect. Once Mars starts to warm up, the next step is to create a thicker atmosphere. We need to release more gases to increase atmospheric pressure. This can be done by vaporizing the polar ice caps, which contain a significant amount of carbon dioxide and water ice. Additionally, we can extract gases from Martian soil through a process called in-situ resource utilization. This involves mining and processing Martian rocks to release gases like nitrogen and oxygen. With a thicker atmosphere and higher temperatures, we can focus on introducing liquid water. Melting the polar ice caps will release water vapor, which can condense into liquid water, forming rivers, lakes, and possibly even oceans. We might also consider redirecting comets or asteroids containing water ice to impact Mars, delivering more water to the planet's surface. Next, we need to address the issue of radiation. Mars lacks a magnetic field, which means its surface is bombarded by harmful cosmic and solar radiation. To protect future inhabitants, we could build magnetic shields or create underground habitats. Alternatively, advanced technology might enable us to generate an artificial magnetic field for the planet. Finally, we need to introduce life. The process of biological terraforming involves seeding Mars with hardy microorganisms, like extremophiles, that can survive in harsh conditions. These organisms can help to produce oxygen through photosynthesis, gradually transforming the atmosphere to support more complex life forms. In summary, transforming Mars into Earth involves warming the planet, thickening the atmosphere, introducing liquid water, protecting against radiation, and seeding life. While these steps are theoretically possible, they require immense technological advancements, resources, and time. Terraforming Mars is a long-term vision that might take centuries to achieve. However, it represents one of humanity's most exciting and challenging frontiers in space exploration.